This is a thermocouple. A thermocouple uses the heat from the pilot light to create millivolts to hold open the magnet in a gas valve. Thermocouples come in different shapes and sizes. First, I'm going to show you how to identify it in your fireplace. This is a pilot assembly that has both a thermopile and a thermocouple. I'm going to show you the difference. The thermopile is bigger and thicker, and it has a wire. The wire has two leads at the end that attach to the gas control valve. The thermocouple is thinner and it has a pointed end. It has a copper wire that screws into the gas valve. That's the way to spot the difference between a thermocouple and a thermopile. Not all fireplaces have both. Some just have the thermopile and some just have the thermocouple. Before you test a thermocouple, you want to make sure the pilot is a strong blue flame and the thermocouple is clean from buildup. Since the thermocouple gets voltage from the heat of the flame, if the pilot is weak or the thermocouple has buildup, it can cause low readings. You can clean the thermocouple with sand cloth or sandpaper. If the pilot flame is lazy, you will need to clean out the pilot hood by vacuuming it out or taking it apart. The voltmeter will need to be set to DC volts. It will not read if set to AC volts. The symbol for DC volts is a long line and three dots or lines underneath. First, locate where the thermocouple is screwed into the gas valve. Then, unscrew the thermocouple from the gas valve. We will be taking the readings from the end of the thermocouple. The readings are taken by placing the red probe from the voltmeter and placing it on the very end of the thermocouple. The black probe will be placed on the copper wire of the thermocouple. Since you will need at least one hand free to depress the gas valve knob to hold on the pilot, using alligator clips on your probes is the best way to get the readings so your hands are freed up. Next, with your voltmeter probes in place, Light the pilot light and keep the knob depressed. Since your thermocouple is disconnected from the valve, the pilot will not stay on unless you keep holding the knob in of the gas valve. With the pilot on and the voltmeter attached, the voltage of the thermocouple should read between 8 and 30 millivolts. This thermocouple is producing around 26 millivolts, which is a good reading. If the thermocouple is reading less than 7 millivolts, you should replace the thermocouple. So to recap, the readings to look for are 8 to 30 millivolts, and if the readings are less than 7 millivolts, you should replace the thermocouple. For more troubleshooting tips, visit fire-parts.com or visit our YouTube channel.